When the price of gold gets really expensive, will the U.S. Mint be selling more one-ounce American gold eagles or more one-tenth ounce gold eagles? Welcome to Silver Heist. Thank you to our returning subscribers and guests. Is 2020 the beginning of a multi-year gold bull market? If so, wouldn't it help you to maximize your decisions if you knew how other stackers or buyers behave in a bull market as well as in a typical year? That doesn't mean that you need to change the size of the coin that you purchase, but maybe don't exclude a size based on faulty information. So I have some charts to show you that I have created from published U.S. Mint American Gold Eagle circulated coin sales over a 20-year period. I will show you the size coins that are sold in typical years as well as the size coins that are sold during a bull market. I've got a survey from my audience where I ask the same question. When the price of gold is going up, do people orient themselves to smaller size coins or larger size gold coins? So as a very quick background, American gold eagles come in one-tenth size, quarter ounce, half ounce size, or full one ounce size. And it's kind of like silver dollars. We have a full size, half dollars, quarters, or dimes. And the thing to note is that if this was all gold sizes, this is the most cost-effective way of stacking for weight. But the cost of entry is high. So it will cost you more. So even though these are all worth, quote, the same amount of weight, it will cost you more to have this pile than it will to have that. And this is the most cost-effective way. So the gold eagles come in multiple sizes. It's trade-off as to whether you're buying the one ounce size or the one tenth ounce size. There aren't bad choices, but they're, they meet different people's needs. So the first chart I want to show you just will establish which were the gold bull market years. So 08 to 2013, the price went up from $1,000 an ounce high for the year in 08 to 1900 in 2011. So as you see, the price kept going up. But also if you look at the blue is the amount of American Gold Eagle ounces minted by the U.S. Mint in 07 the blue 07 to the first red 08 year, the volume tripled or quadrupled. So that is a bull run. The demand is increasing and the price is increasing until it, until it peaks out. So what I want to show you is how the behavior in the blue years is different than the behavior in the red years. So I covered this in a prior video, but I first want to show you the distribution of the quantity of gold eagles by size in typical years. So here's the first breakdown. The quantity of half ounce coins and quarter ounce coins, smaller than you might realize, less than seven or nine coins per 100. So they have a purpose, but the next chart will show that the one ounce coin and one tenth ounce coin serves a bigger purpose. And the one tenth ounce coin is the most affordable way to get your foot into gold. And the one ounce coin is the most cost effective way of acquiring weight. So the one ounce co size coin more than I would have anticipated. In a typical year, the 10th ounce size sells more coins than the one ounce coins, but they're the two most popular. So now the question is, what happens when gold gets expensive? So based on what you know, what do you think is gonna happen when gold gets more expensive? A more coins going to be made that are full ounce size or one tenth ounce size. 
So here is what my audience believed prior to watching this video. Those who thought that more one ounce American gold eagles will be minted when gold prices are expensive, that was 22%. And 78% thought that more one tenth ounce American gold eagles will be minted when gold is expensive. So let's see what the numbers actually show. So let's take a peek again at the two least favorite during a bull market. So the half ounce and the quarter ounces have not changed much. They are the two least favorite size coins, which means the market is really served best by the biggest coin and the most affordable coin on the market. So both of these became less popular as a percentage of the coins being minted. So let's see what happens during a gold market on the two extremes. Well, there you go. The one ounce coins become extremely popular, up to 65%. 65 out of 100 coins made by the U.S. Mint during bull markets are of the one ounce size variety, and about 25 out of 100 coins during a bull market are of the one-tenth ounce size variety. So if you thought when gold is expensive that less people would be able to afford the big coins, that is not how it played out from 2008 to 2013. So that doesn't mean that's the way it will be for every bull market, but I think human behavior is human behavior. So I don't think people anticipated the way this chart broke down. So this might change the way you view things going forward. It doesn't mean that you can't stack half ounces or quarter ounces. If that's the size that best meets your need, then that's fine. Just don't, don't exclude the one ounce coin because you don't think that there's a market for it where the data shows there's a very large market for it. So I'm gonna show you Two reasons why I think this chart is true. We'll go back to the original chart about the volume of ounces during a bull market where it quadrupled from previous years. And as you look at the price going up, what you will see is that there's more buyers when gold is $1,700 than when it's $700 an ounce. So as gold gets more expensive, there's actually more people who want it. And then the second thing, going back to the chart with the distribution by size, is that in both the blue and the red years, there's a lot of one ounce buyers out there. And so I believe my interpretation of this chart is that either when the bull market arrives, people step up their game and they're like, now I've got confirmation that the market's moving. I am going to put more money into it and at a more cost effective way. So the one ounce size becomes more popular. But another way to interpret it is that these are different buyers. So the people who bought during the typical years, the distribution being determined by the blue, are different than the buyers who buy when gold gets expensive. So I think some folks who have been buying gold repeatedly over the last multiple years may actually stop buying gold when it reaches a certain level. And then other people will step in and they will drive the price of the coins up higher and higher or they'd be more willing to buy a gold coin when the price goes higher and higher. So 2020 is looking like an exciting period. Could be the beginning of a bull market run. So please subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. So if you are able to earmark some of your stimulus check towards precious metals, 
Would you put it towards silver or gold? If you'd like to see some options on both sides of that, please watch our featured video.